Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that how many students in a class must be there to ensure that each students get the same grade that is one of A, B, C, D or E. We know that the generalized pigeonhole principle states that if n objects are placed in k boxes then there is at least one box containing at least smallest integer greater than or equal to n by k objects. With this key idea let us proceed with the solution. Let number of students be equal to n. A student can get one of the grades A, B, C, D or E. So here we can see that K is equal to 5. So by using the generalized pigeonhole principle at least smallest integer greater than or equal to N by K will have same grade. We are given that at least 8 students have the same grade. So, smallest integer greater than or equal to n by k is equal to 8. That is, smallest integer greater than or equal to n by 5 is equal to 8. So, we have n by 5 lies between 7 or 8. This is by the definition of ceiling function or we call it the smallest integer function. Now if n is equal to 35 then Smallest integer greater than or equal to 35 upon 5 is equal to smallest integer greater than or equal to 7 is equal to 7. But we have smallest integer greater than or equal to n by 5 is equal to 8. So n is not equal to 35. Thus, n is strictly greater than 35. So, the next least possible value will be n equal to 36. As, smallest integer greater than or equal to 36 upon 5 will be equal to smallest integer greater than or equal to 7.2 which is equal to 8. So, the class must have 36 students. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.